Hey guys, how you doing? I'll go Steph here. So, the best computer for devs in 2026. So, I'm not prepping this video at all, so it's probably going to be a high volume video. The videos that I do the least amount of work with do fantastic, and the videos that I do the, the most amount of work with always do badly. Anyway, that's just my life. So, the best computer for devs in 2026. So, number one, let's look at hardware. Laptop versus desktop. Either or are good, either or are good. I would recommend, if you got the budget, I would recommend a laptop so you have some flexibility. Maybe you go see clients, maybe you gotta go work off, off site, maybe you wanna be a digital nomad and you wanna be able to, you know, you know, go somewhere. Go on the beach, go on the beach. Like for example, I do a lot of consulting calls and a year and a half or so ago, I was, on the, I was in a beach town for about five and a half months and I would do all my calls on uh, my iPhone on the beach. Nobody cared. So yeah, the laptop is my recommendation over desktop because of the portability issue. Laptops, of course, are incredibly fast now. Anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You don't need speed. You don't need the extra boost of speed you might get from a, a desktop computer. And you can ex uh, plug in an external monitor. Um, in terms of monitors, don't skimp on the monitors. If you're going to spend money on anything related to uh, your computer, spend the money on the monitor because the monitor is uh, the thing that will stay with you for many, many years. Many years. So yeah, spend your money on the monitor. You're going to be in a much... Uh, that's a great investment because for, you can go through three or four laptops and keep the same monitor. So yeah, top three physical things to look for in a uh, computer is number one a good screen as i said number two ssd machine ssd is solid state drive these are the fast drives you don't want the old spinning drives ssd the perception and the speed of your computer will just increase tremendously make sure it's ssd and uh, finally ram you want to have i would say today in 2025 you want to have minimum 16 gig of ram 32 if you're especially going to be start using things like docker you need that extra ram but 16 is 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 good uh eight can get you can get by on eight depending on the type of development that you do but uh 16 is um uh, 16 is the sweet spot although when it comes to ram it can never you can never have too much that's for sure Anybody would tell you the more RAM you have, the better your life is. In terms of age, hardware age, you can get like a five-year-old laptop and you'd be fine. So if you uh, don't have the money to buy a brand new laptop, just get a five-year-old and you're fine. You'll be fine. Just make sure it's SSD based and it has at least 16 gig of RAM. Fortunately today, uh, laptops are so powerful that even a five-year-old machine, you have more than enough to meet uh, your needs, that's for sure. So what about Mac versus Windows or Linux? So really, they're all good for development. Now, there are some exceptions. If you're gonna do .NET development, best, you gotta get a Windows machine. I call, although there is the Mono project, but I think it's ported to Mac OS and maybe Linux, but I would just get, if you're going to do Windows development.net, just get a Windows box. If you're going to do iOS development, iPhone, iPad, and Mac OS development, get a, get a Mac, of course. Silly not to. How about Linux? Linux is great for uh, maximum tinkering and configurations, if that's what you want to do. You know, when you're young, you know, in your 20s and so, you, there's this inclination to want to customize everything. I know I did it. I actually, with the help of a friend, well, he did most of the work, we recompiled a Linux kernel and we used it to revive an old Intel PC at the time that was just too slow on Windows, but on Linux, all of a sudden, boom, it was like brand new. It, was, it, it ran perfectly fine. Why? Because when you recompile the Linux kernel, uh, you can recompile it just with the drivers that you need so the, the CPU doesn't have so much crap to process to get anything done. But again, CPUs are so fast today, right? If you're going for Mac, I would get the Mac Air. I would get the Mac Air, and I think it in 2025 you can get the, the 32 gig option. MacBook Air, that's what I have. I have a five-year-old of a 2020 MacBook Air. It's still fantastic. 
still great for coding. Uh, I got a big, I think I got a terabyte SSD. In terms of Windows laptops, I, you know, you can, somebody can comment below. I haven't looked at them in years because I'm generally I'm a Mac guy now. Um, I had uh, my last Windows machine was the Surface, the Surface Pro from Microsoft. I don't even know if they still sell those anymore. Lenovo, very good at the time. So, but uh, you would have to just look for look at reviews, look at reviews. But generally speaking, Mac, Linux, Windows, they're all good. I would just look at your broader use. If you're going to be doing ga ga a lot of gaming as well, you probably want to get a Windows machine. Uh, if you want to do iOS development, get a, a Mac computer. You know, I like Macs because they're more stable than Windows machines, I find. Uh, they're based on FreeBSD, which is a, a Unix. So, uh, so processes by their very nature are isolated. There's just you know, much less chance of getting a virus, blah, blah, blah. That's pretty much it. If you disagree, you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I've, again, worked with Windows, Linux, Mac. Generally speaking, today I'm a Mac guy. But uh, you can produce great apps using any type of computer. The only thing I said, the top three things to look for is SSD, uh, great monitor, great screen, because that those will last many generations. And of course, as much RAM as you can afford, uh, and you'll be in a very good position. Cheers, I'm Uncle Steph.